Friends, two large updates were a great way to wrap up 2020. It's spring already, so it's time to enjoy a fresh batch of new vehicles, better graphics, mechanics, and tech. Variable sweep wings, windscreen HUD, new sounds, and new ways to use the nuclear bomb that you guys love so much. We'll tell you about all that and many more cool things in the next few minutes. The new Iqwa Strike update received its name after the South African branch of vehicles, which is part of the British Tech Tree. Please welcome the new vehicles. The crown of this branch is a top MBT, the Oliphant Mark II, a deep modification of the famous Centurion. This machine can boast a 1,000 horsepower engine, additional armor for the hull, and the turret, as well as thermals. What would a top MBT need? Some support from quick-wheeled armor, of course. The Ruikat MTTD can handle this task perfectly. With the already familiar 120 kph on level road and a thoroughly reworked combat compartment, the gunner and commander now sit below the gun breech, and the loader has been replaced by automation. Another addition to the South African branch is a family of wheeled AFVs, the Raytel. There are three machines to choose from, armed with a 90mm gun, a 20mm autocannon and the Milan ATGM, or a machine gun module that the ZT3 system for three ATGMs respectively. Let's see what other major new vehicles are there for you. How does a variable sweep wing benefit an aircraft? Naturally, it makes handling perfect at any speed, and the first plane in the game to have it is... the Soviet Su-17M2 fighter bomber jet. With a straight wing, it shows some decent takeoff and landing performance for a supersonic aircraft, while with a swept wing, it can achieve a higher speed quicker. As for suspended armament, the highlight of this plane is the laser-guided air-to-surface missiles. Here's another new vehicle, the French Mirage 3 Modification E, a multi-role fighter bomber. It's maneuverable enough to achieve air superiority and also armed well enough to destroy a number of ground targets. The German tech tree receives a new top battleship, SMS Kaiser. Its side armor is up to 350 mm thick. The main caliber are the 10 305 mm guns, and with five underwater torpedo launchers, it hints at an opportunity for stealth attacks. Two more excellent additions are the American Vought F-8 Crusader fighter and another American F-5A Freedom fighter, but this time in the Chinese tree. This is far from all the reinforcements for your hangars. Research and try them all, and share your impressions. Meanwhile, we'll tell you about the new technologies and mechanics. On some aircraft, you can now make use of the HUD, or the cockpit windscreen head-up display. It provides the pilots with navigation, flight, and other special information, so that you never have to spend a second to look at the cockpit instruments. There are some new weaponry as well. Aircraft can now employ a tactical air-to-surface missile with a TV or a semi-active laser seeker. And how can we forget about upgrading graphics? This update brings new, more detailed impact effects for ground vehicles and surfaces, which makes ground battles even more spectacular. The round choice menu now has descriptive animations that demonstrate the action principle for each round and its interaction with armor at different angles. 
And of course, this isn't a complete list of what the first large update of the year brings to you folks. There are new sounds for air weapons. The nuclear bomb is now available in high rank tank RB. Naval vessels have decorations now, and battleship damage models have been reworked, so naval battles become a lot more engaging. And of course, the full changelog is available on our official website. Subscribe to our channel, tell us everything you think, and hit that like button, and stay tuned. See you soon.